our latest done deal, a tapered plug that we hammer in to expand the tube for absolutely no slipping. So. Another little bend trick, we always put the seam down like that. So it's on the inside near the bottom and that allows for a smoother bend. So we load the tube, we close the collet, we hit the two buttons, both have to be hit for safety, then start. days of the use we made a hay hook to pull it out. We now mark it. And go back to manual. Lock the collet. Get the one-handed portable saw. Feature. If we step on that mat, it stops it. A bit of a computer geek can give you a little lesson here. This is pretty neat software. We have auto cycle. You load the tube and close the collet to run it. But first, we need to go to edit the part. This tells us on how many degrees, the speed of the bend arm, pressure die assist pressure, and then we have early mandrel extract. Whoops, got to watch what numbers I hit. We have a late PDA which means we don't push anything until two and a half degrees in. That gives us more room on a 180. Here's a neat thing. If we go to our setup data, all sorts of little things here we can play with, but the profiling is a neat one. Our pressure die assist. We started in progressively, so at 10 degrees we're 35 pressure. We get up to 40 to 50, we're at 77. Then we go to 80 and then ramp up to 82. That gives us a very smooth bend, um, critical on airflow. The other thing that's very neat is this touch screen is kind of like for a, uh, really a first grader. Uh, the yellow shows I'm standing on the safety mat. The red shows these switches are closed. I uh, can't do anything until I get off the safety mat. Oops, now as you go straight, whoops, got to get back to manual. Maybe I need that first grader. That way I can open, open my uh, assist die. Um, I can pull my mandrel in and out. And you see, once I do that, it goes to a white, which means the switch is open. So I can do anything manually. Once we have it programmed, it does everything automatically. Back to auto cycle. Idiot proof. <laughs> 